What is up guys, it's Mitch Ordiety, and we are back with another Alchemy Stars video. I just woke up, but I want to go over my water team now. I'm going to do another video on my grass team, but I really don't have a fire team yet. So all of you that are new to the channel, if you're willing to subscribe, that'd be amazing. We've been gaining about 100 to 200 subs a day since Alchemy Stars released. If I could hit 10,000 subscribers, that'd be amazing. And also, someone did become a channel member. Jilly, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Uh, it really helps out the channel, so thank you for considering, or actually going through with doing that so we're gonna go ahead and get into the video now so like i said today we're gonna be talking mostly about my water team so with the water team that i have currently built i am at chapter eight but i'm stopping at chapter eight for a while i'm gonna focus on upgrading characters but if you look here i am to frostfire 33 so i've already finished frostfire 30 that is the challenge for the old seal so that's the main goal you want to kind of work toward or at the very beginning just to unlock that first little section of challenges but i'm going to go ahead in and start talking about the team real quick so uh actually I'll, I'll show the team from the formation menu first so i have Connolly. Connolly, i've switched out for vice and i'll explain why vice is still absolutely amazing and there are some stages i use vice and Connolly together but overall i do like Connolly more just because she deals quite a bit more overall damage so it is it is more beneficial for me to use her in most stages but whenever i need a unit that does multi hits vice comes in handy and if you don't have connelly vice is a great substitute carleen hopefully you guys re-rolled for carleen carleen is absolutely busted one of the craziest characters you could possibly get right now just for for clearing everything her pushback a full line control of where you teleport on the map which goes into felici felici is a one dollar healer if you do not have her you can buy her for one dollar which is amazing so you don't have to though if you're free to play you can also use zoya that's fine but she gives a little bit more because zoya just has heals Connolly or officially has a teleport the teleport allows you to go wherever you want and then make a combo from there and heal extra depending on where you teleport now miss blanc miss blanc is a character that a lot of people are trying to switch out of their teams but mine is max uh breakthrough so having having miss blanc already max breakthrough because i pulled a bunch of dupes of her is she gives enhanced tiles enhanced tiles are pretty awesome within the game there are a couple different kind of tiles that get dropped and as we go more and more tile adjusting units will come out whether it's dropping a bomb on a tile to do damage after you walk through whether there's a bunch of different things that will end up coming i am sure but miss block overall having a two-turn tile conversion is absolutely amazing as well as sariel sariel is the same thing tile converter but she also is a multi-hit unit which is why i went Connolly over vice because i did have vice in but with sariel hitting multiple times i really don't need a ton of multi-hit units i'd rather have a couple multi-hit units and then a unit that deals big damage so in in this case though whenever you're going to go into a stage with uh shields you need to look into if it's that stage and if you fail it before then your order of your units is super important so say you're going if you're going to be on auto you always want miss blanc to go before sariel and then maybe doing something like this so say this would be a kind of team to bring into a team that has shields because then you'll get carlene will go which is going to end up hitting shield which is fine if she reaches the unit but then you're going to go miss block then you're going to go felici then sario and connelly are ranged but if sario goes first her uh co chain combo is a multi-hit skill so it'll break the shields off enemies because shields have a three turn usually cool or kind of protection so or three three hit protection so you need to hit it three times and then if sario breaks that then connelly can come in and one shot at the end so the, the, you learn more and more as you keep playing but overall being or i cleared like i said spire 30 33 or 32 33 actually is pretty hard i've tried it a few times but i went ahead and started working on other content instead but i'm gonna go ahead and just go over each of the unit skills real quick so Connolly, i do have her i did pull one dupe of her as part of why i'm using her over vice vice is fine though honestly i people are using vice over her uh, and most of their teams and vice they give you all the free stuff you need to make vice insane as she's as the main character of the game so it's honestly it might be better just to use her but with with connelly she is an insanely hard hitting unit 400 damage to enemies within three surrounding clusters this thing one shots like half the units that i'm currently at in the game especially when i'm farming say uh the i've been farming a lot of the nidium quest or the gold of this game and this ability one shots those units which is hilarious but then the chain combo is 
reach, multi-hitting, or not multi-hitting, but multi-target, and also does a lot of damage. So overall, she just does a ton. And then lastly, she gives Fright. Fright is an ability that allows you to stay alive longer. So if you get out all the conditions met for this, you get to Frighten, and then they will run away for one turn. Even if you're one square away from them, they'll run away from you, giving you survivability. So it's like having two healers, kind of, a healer and a support, because you're going to be taking less overall damage throughout the length of a fight. So Sariel. Sariel is an absolutely amazing unit. If you did get her from the cheap banner, the 150 cost banner that you get 20 summons, you get a guaranteed 6 star off that banner. So ideally you re-roll for, say, Carlene, and then you go into the cheap banner, and whatever 6 star you get, you hope that it's Sariel, basically. In my opinion, so Sariel is a 2-turn converter. She has preemptive, so she goes right away. So using her with Miss Blanc, which I do, is amazing she converts four nearest red or green tiles which is pretty dang good and then she also has a multi-hit attack which is why i switch vice off for her like i said earlier because she will break the shields on units and then i can have Connolly sweep in and hit for a huge amount of damage and also she has a uh, sario mark grants three marks at the start of battle and get one mark when units attack so every time she hits she gets another mark up to eight stacks each stack increases her defense increasing up to 50 percent defense based on the amount of hp lost and then retains 50% of the stacks at the end of the round. So every round she is going to keep going up and down, up and down on stacks, but she gets tankier and tankier, which allows survival within your team. But overall, her being the you, or target converter is absolutely amazing, or tile converter. And then Miss Blanc. Miss Blanc's a character a lot of people are trying to switch off their team, but she's a character you get for free at the beginning of the game. You're gonna pull dupes of her. Once you get her max breakthrough, she gives enhanced tiles. So I wanna show the enhanced tile real quick. So I do have mine already finished, so I have spent some money in this game. I don't plan on spending any more. The reason I spent was for content, to try to get videos to you guys to explain more, so maybe you don't make certain mistakes or decide that actually this character is pretty decent. I might as well keep using them. So enhanced tiles, though, grants two times the connection damage of a normal tile. So whenever you use this and then you end up stepping on it, you're going to do more damage on, on those squares. And it's quite a bit. Every little bit of damage adds up as you'll start to learn playing through the game. So Miss Blanc overall is the same preemptive two turn tile converter of four. So I usually will go into use Miss Blanc's ability first, and I use Sariel's ability after, and that will give me usually on average round, I would say five to six extra tiles within a combo, making it to where I can get a 15 combo straight out of the gate or every two turns basically a lot easier. Or the biggest thing with this is it allows you to if I use Felici to teleport, then I can use her. If I could teleport right next to the boss, get the extra heal from Felici, and then use this, then I can just go in sometimes a three combo or five combo, depending on what uh, what it is, and I'm going to get multi-hits because blue square is a full blue team. So she adds a ton of, ton of sustain. So one thing I do want to note is all of my units are double ascended except for Carleen, and Felici is not even ascended once. So this is double ascension, double ascension. But as you see, these lower levels don't actually matter. Once you've ascended past level 2, they can go up to level 50, but they maintain the stats of being level 40 plus a little bonus. So even a level 1 4-star awakened character is way stronger than a level 40 1-star awakened character. But next up, we're going to go to Carlene. So Carlene is the unit that I push everyone to reroll for. If you ask me who you should get, I would say reroll for Carlene and then start spending on the cheap banner to get your second 6-star. So with Carlene, she's absolutely amazing. She is a tile converter as well as a uh, breaker. So with being a breaker, she multi-targets her uh, chain combo. And the multi-target chain combo is really good against multi-square units. And then it also breaks rocks. It, it um, I think that's it. It breaks rocks. It has range. It multi-hits depending on how many squares big they are and how many you can get. She also, on a 13 combo, she will reach all the way across the stage in a cross shape which allows you to go for a little bit extra damage in certain scenarios and hitting multiple targets, which is great. But her equipment gains plus two basic attack for every one water tile she moved on or into or over for the round up to four. So if you move into a massive combo, she just does more and more and more damage. So Carlene is one of the units. She already has 1353 base attack, which is a ton at level 40. And once I ascend her, she's going to get even, even higher attack. But doing that extra damage from her equipment is pretty crazy and she's basically kind of a boss slayer bosses that take up multiple titles she murders but the last unit that we have on the team i do have sharona i just pulled sharona but i don't know where i'd put her on my team yet um i tried to use barton at the beginning of the game and i didn't really like him too much barton it, on a five turn cooldown 
his as a converter he works pretty well but just the cooldown is too long and i like my teams to have shorter cooldowns to try to chain into combos faster so in a, lo a longer fight i still only got to use barton usually once and he wouldn't get back into his cooldown to use him again it was very frustrating so overall maybe later i'll end up using him because i may need another breaker and sharona i'm just not sure where to even use them yet but i'm going to go ahead and talk about felicia so felicia you can get for one dollar if you're free to play you can pull her from the regular banner i wasn't sure on that i made a video on her before testing her but Felici is absolutely amazing. As you see, I haven't even awakened or ascended her whatsoever. But she still works great. I was able to clear up to thir stage 32 in the Water Spire without even ascending her because the other characters carried. But she is very, very overall just good. And I don't know what her equipment does because I haven't even awakened her yet. So I can't even talk about that. But the biggest thing with her is she teleports to a random location. So with having that teleport, it allows you to, and it's on a three-turn cooldown. So the way my team works is turn one, I double convert with Sariel in Miss Blanc. And then by the time I get to turn three, I can use her to teleport to any square on the map. And then I can convert from that square again because my skills will be back on my converters. So it allows me to do a lot of damage turn one. And then if I take a little damage, then I can teleport into a, a ideal slot and then use my converters after and do usually quite a large amount of damage so overall if you do have felicity she's amazing but zoya works fine as a healer if you did not get lucky or you don't if you want to maintain free to play i respect free to play uh completely if that's what you want to go for then that's what you go for but it's been mature deity that's all i have for this video if you guys want to see this team in action i all of my spire runs have been uploaded except for 30 i was going to add 30 onto this but i don't think we're going to but again if you guys are new to the channel if you're willing to subscribe it'd help out a lot thank you again jilly for becoming a channel member and i will see you all in the next video have a great rest of your day peace out